What's up, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Cork and Curated. I'm Nova, and I am your spirit's guide along this journey. Today, we will be featuring Siete Leguas Tequila, which is one of my favorite tequilas, and I'm so excited to talk about it. So let's just jump right into it, okay? I'm sure a lot of people are used to other brands. I don't obviously see a lot of this in the stores, maybe in certain liquor stores, but uh, the way that I got introduced to this tequila, I'll never forget, my best friends and I, we were in Crown Heights on a summer day. One day, we just went to this bar, and we're sitting at the bar, we wanted some shots of tequila, and the bartender recommended this. And ever since then, Ooh, it just became a favorite. A lot of people, when they hear tequila, they get nauseous because of like young experiences of just not having good quality brands. But that's what we're here for. We're here to like up the quality because you can enjoy tequila. So Siete Leguas is one of my favorites. It's smooth to me. And like every episode of Coke and Curated, we're gonna get into some knowledge. I like to do the research on the back end. So I have some notes here about the brand a little bit at least before we taste it. You heard? Okay, so this is an artisanal tequila, which means that it's made in small batches, but that's what makes it special. It was created in 1952. They have four different types, um, just like other tequila brands. This is a Blanco tequila, but there's Añejo Repasado. They have another one too. The Blanco just means it's just right away, like it's not aged, so. Once they make it, I mean, there is an aging process with the agave plant, um, but the añejos and the repasados, they're aged a little longer, which you'll see uh, a distinction in the colors. So that's what that means. So the blanco is just like the staple right here. The creator of Siete Leguas is Don Ignacio Gonzalez Vargas in Mexico, okay? And this is special because it's still cooked in small stone ovens. All right, and even in the milling and distillation process, this is still one of the few uh, brands that use mules to uh, help with the milling, you know what I mean? So I'm sure they're taking care of the mules, but they still do that process as well. They have a two-step distillation process, you know, to just make it just right. And like I said, there's always a, a, an aging process, so Initially, the agave is distilled for seven years, and then that's when the blanco is made. So that means they waited seven years for the plant to be just right. That's when the blanco is made, but then we want to really age it on to get the añejo and the repasado. That's when we age it for longer. But we're starting here with basics because this is the first one I've, I've tried. And it is 100% agave. Um, you always want to get tequilas that are 100% agave. Agave plants are really cool because they look like pineapples a little bit. Um, when I first did some research on it, I was like, why does this look like a pineapple? But the process begins with planting agave de Kiliana Weber. I'm sorry if I didn't say that right. Which is blue agave in the red soil of Atotonilco el Alto Jalisco in Mexico. Hopefully one day we can visit because I did some research as well and you can go ahead and visit the distillery. We're gonna jump in and try it and then maybe we'll make a drink, maybe we won't, but let's see. All right. We have a really fancy shot glass as well here. Boom. Okay, so when we open the bottle, let's see what I smell. It's hard to, I smell salt, and I almost, maybe I'm just like uh, privy to salt because I, that's one of my favorite parts about like a margarita, having the salt on the rim. So I'm not gonna fill it up to the top, but I'm just gonna have a little bit here. So we wanna see what notes we have. I don't know what I smell, y'all. I'm, I'm being completely honest. Like, Let's taste it. It's been a little while, so cheers. I'm not gonna throw it back, but I'm gonna just take a little sip. It's smoky. It's smooth. So maybe that's what I'm smelling. A little oaky. Definitely strong. But for me, like I said, it didn't give me that I hate when I'm, I'm drinking something and it gives me that in the back. So, this is what I like about it. So 
I feel like, and then at least for me, I like to drop a little ice cube, you know, even though like you can have it neat. And when you have a drink neat, that means it's no ice, no juice or anything like that. So technically having a shot is like having the drink neat. And I enjoy it neat. Like if I just needed um, a little tequila, maybe something to take the edge off, I would choose the Blanco. Um, even though I am interested in tasting the uh, Repasado and the Añejo. Uh, and also, Siete Leguas means seven leagues. Um, yeah, I think it's really cool. I think it's delicious. So I implore you all to give it a try. But cheers. And obviously, you probably make a really good margarita out of it. Yeah, I ain't gonna hold you. I don't taste no pineapple, I don't taste nothing, nothing like that. That doesn't, at least for me, but I, I feel like what I like about it is that it's just smooth for me. It doesn't like give me that, like what the hell am I drinking? What, tarnations? But for me, it's smooth. I could have it just like this on a nice summer day. Um, so check it out, y'all. Check out Siete Leguas. Check out the Añejo del Reposado. I, they don't have a mezcal. So if anybody is looking for an artisanal tequila, small batch, quality over quantity, then check out Siete Leguas. Also check out their others, the Añejo del Reposado. I'm sure they're amazing. And make sure you also like, comment, subscribe to our channels. Cheers. Remember to drink responsibly.